Hi everyone, I wanted to try something that popped in my head. So I've done the Beatles back before using interference colors, um, but I wanted to use the new pearl or black pearl based interference colors from the Glasswing set. So this is a seven inch hexagon we have here with the pillow paint down using white satin from or it's bright white satin from uh, Walmart color place and I'm going to put a black puddle down which is just carbon black mixed in my pouring medium um, I believe this is atelier carbon black free flow and I like it because it's a darker black than the well, maybe it's not darker. Maybe I just used more of it. But anyway, so that first color is Rain, which is a black pearl with a green interference. Um, well, it's like a smoky pearl. It's not black pearl, but it's like a smoky pearl. And then we have Aurora, which is um, a smoky pearl with a red interference. And then Luna, which is a smoky pearl with a violent interference. And then Angel Wings, which is a smoky pearl with blue interference. So these are like interference colors on steroids because they have this beautiful, rich, smoky color base. So I thought these would be great, like Beatles back. So then we're going to do another little dab of black pouring medium in the pouring medium, sorry, under a white cell activator. Um, so all of the ratios are in the description box below for the cell activator and I'm going to blow it out with my little travel hair dryer. So I went ahead and kept this in here. This was a terrible blow. <laughs> terrible. So just terrible. You can see how I just blew everything right down into the pillow. It was terrible and I wanted to redeem it and then I was like who are we kidding this is not gonna this is not gonna happen um so my dog just got up and left the room like I'm annoying him so it's just time for a pour over at that moment I thought to myself maybe today is not a good day to be painting because usually if it starts off like that it doesn't go that well but uh here we go with our black puddle again so the purpose of the black puddle is to give your interference colors something to really bounce off of. It doesn't have to be black. You could use blue or purple or whatever, but I like the black because then the interference colors really show. Um, so here I'm just going to zigzag and messy it up using the same four colors. So this is part of the glass wing set. So what's great about the glass wing set is you get these four colors that are like a black pearl interference plus you get the eight other colors and they're so amazingly beautiful so if you are interested in picking up this set or anything from color art don't forget um, to save 20 percent off using mandy 1120 the code is also listed below um, great discounts below for you for boom gels from pixel paint designs she also sells australian floetrol um, she's sold out right now, but should get some more soon. So don't forget to take advantage of those discounts. So this time I'm going to blow out a little bit myself before I hit it with the hair dryer, just because sometimes if, if I don't do that, then I get those bad blows because I'm trying to isolate out such a small space. So this is better. Still not great. So at this moment, I'm thinking, is this really like the worst day ever for me to try to paint because I've done this Beatles back thing before and I've had great success. So this time <laughs> we're going to scrape it up into a pile and try to reuse that pillow. I mean, we're going to end up covering most of that anyway. That scraping up into a pile thing doesn't always work, by the way. Sometimes it does. Since we were working with a small surface, I was willing to take the chance. I also realized at this point that my black was maybe too thick. So what I just showed you is that I'm going to make some more black. That's when I actually mix up the Atelier Free Flow in my pouring medium. So after this, 
I have a much better time of it because what was happening is my black was too thick. So when the white cell activator needed to be able to glide and freely move, it was being hindered by that paint being too thick. That's one of the times where your consistencies really matter because if you have one paint that's maybe older and thicker and the rest of your paints are freely moving and that one paint's kind of acting like a fuddy-duddy and not moving around, it's going to impede your piece moving as it should. So it's not like every single one of your paints has to be the exact same consistency to the point where you're going to have to do a drip test every single time you paint. So, you know, I know we, all of us bloomers harp on consistency. That's not the reason why it's so important. The reason why it's important is when you have one or two who are way off, this kind of stuff happens. And then you're tempted to be like, okay, I, I am terrible at this. And you're probably not really terrible at it. It's just probably either that your paints are too old or too thick or one's moving slower than the others and it's not working. So this time you'll notice after I mixed up a fresh batch of black, we have much better success. So here we go again. I don't know if I remember to blow out the middle a little bit first or if I just go for it. But I wanted to share the fails with you. I did break out the little blower because I was a little frustrated with how many of those I had messed up. <laughs> so I was like, let me bring out Old Faithful since we're on a small surface. For those of you who get frustrated with the little blower not giving you enough surface coverage, you'll notice that I'm trying to pull from the exact place where it left off and just pull a little bit from the middle and then fill in those spots that didn't blow out the greatest myself with just a little blow on my part. Then we'll let it gather a little bit, break in the surface tension with the turkey baster right there, just to allow what's already forming underneath to come through. Now we're going to embellish just a little bit because there was a couple places I didn't do the greatest job blowing out. And I know from your view, it just looks kind of gray and maybe monochrome, but you can't see some of those iridescents the way I can see them from my view. So hang in for a close up because then you'll see and I, at this point, I'm just kind of loosely tweaking with it because a bunch of that stuff's going to fly off in a second when we spin. So these colors will look really great, like on a black pillow. Before this video, I tried using a black pillow and just putting them on the black pillow with a white cell activator. And it was pretty, but it didn't have enough contrast. So if I were to use a black pillow to emphasize them, I think I would throw in some other colors, if that makes sense. The reason why it seems to work with this is because you get the reflection of that black and you get the white pillow and they kind of interact and create this really cool effect. So I was going to record it. I did record it and I was going to show you, but it, it was... It didn't dry well, you know, sometimes black has kind of a yellow tint in it and it tints <laughs> the white cell activator kind of a yellowish color. So it just didn't dry well. So I'm going to pour over it. It it wasn't the composition so much. It's just it wouldn't have been valuable for you to see because you wouldn't have seen much color from your angle. So anyway, I'm much more happy with this blowout. Not perfect, but... Uh, way better totally forgot to do the close-up over there so here is our close-up of the seven inch hexagon you can see the colors a lot more clearly close up of course and it's going to be gorgeous under resin gorgeous gorgeous look at that aurora Whew. those colors are amazing just completely amazing I love the places where they blend. Gorgeous. So I decided I was going to go ahead and just do um, a little coaster set. So I just did one with you, but my camera <laughs> turned off. So I have the same 
thing, a black pouring medium puddle over the pillow. And then I have Aurora and Rain and Angel Wings and Luna just kind of swirled around together. A little dot of the pouring medium in black. And then we're going to do a white cell activator. Now, obviously, they're all going to be different, right? But I only did one coaster on the video. But I do a close-up of all four of them at the end. I didn't see any reason to do them all on camera. It'll make the video unnecessarily long. But these beetle back um, pieces are always super popular. So I figured while I already had the paint out, I'll just go ahead and do a coaster set um, because they'll be beautiful. And they'll either sell or be given as gifts or something. They're, um, they're just really beautiful. And the iridescent sparkle is just um it's kind of mind-blowing when you see it under resin you're just like wow <laughs> so this one blew out pretty well i used a little bit too much cell activator so i'm just kind of breaking the surface tension in some places so that we don't have just a ton of it in certain spots and i love them on the little hexagon one hexagon coasters i've done a set obviously not with the same interference colors because th these are new but I've done a set on the square four inch coasters, but I haven't done a hexagon set. So I wanted to do a hexagon set anyway. So I think it'll be neat. So these will go up on our Etsy shop once they're resined and they dry long enough. And I always put a cork back on them. I do get a lot of questions about where I get the tiles from. These particular ones are from Home Depot, but not all of the Home Depot stores carry them. I had to have these specially ordered and delivered so I actually paid a delivery charge so I went ahead and ordered a bunch of them at the same time um, and the hexagon cork backs I get on Amazon and I think they're listed in my Amazon shop they do kind of ebb and flow in and out of stock but they fit these very well so if they're not in our Amazon shop I will go and add them as well as the regular cork back ones that I use for the squares they work great it's so much easier than having to cut it yourself they're self-adhesive and just a lot easier and they stay on fine so messy messy spinner so from your view it probably just looks kind of like gray and black and white but up close pretty dreamy looking i really like them this glass wing set is incredible. If you haven't gotten it, you would love it. Trust me. That's just incredible. Here comes our close up. Look how beautiful all those colors play well together. Thank you guys so much for watching this experiment with me. Uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. I would love it if you like, subscribe, share. Join our Fluid Art group, everything listed below. Thank you so much again. Have a great day.